right people so i'm here with your raw review once again a shit show i feel like i open every wwe review video with this for the most part but i mean it's true so first thing of this shit show was owens jericho and foley come out to cut a promo it was really the only good part of the show the only one of the only redeeming qualities of the show um so i thought it was good i thought it was funny at times you know they actually use like this fucking shark cage to put jericho in. you know i always say i like things that are creative and that are funny and, and that are like unique you know things we haven't seen before and this is something we haven't seen before it's like creative it's new it's something it's just something different it's something other than just your basic ordinary promo where somebody comes on and says oh you know you know oh hey i'm here you know chicago yeah i'm in chicago and the other heel says, oh, you know, I'm going to kick your ass, fuck you. You know, it's like, it's just something different. So, I thought it was good. I thought it was funny when they were raising Jericho up. And, you know, Mick Foley has his fanny pack there. So, it was a good segment. It was funny. It was... So, then they make the main event uh, of the night. And then they also make a match for the Royal Rumble. Um, and you notice, there was no Roman Reigns in this segment. There was no, you know, pe people like that, no Rusev, so it was good, you know, people who fucking suck and can't, can't cut a promo, promo were left out of the seg segment, and therefore it was a good quality segment. Then we have Rusev and Big Cass ending in a, in, in a disqualification. It was a short match, it was literally one minute long, um, um, so then at the end of the match, it ended because Big Cash just kept punching Rusev. It's like, really, that's that's the creative ending you have for, the, you know, Big Cash just punches Rusev too much. He gets disqualified, and then Rusev r runs away. That's the fucking ending. I mean, what a waste of time. Zero, zero out of five stars. Then we have Sasha cutting a promo. So she's hurt, whatever. She talks for, like, five minutes. It wasn't anything special. Then Nia Jax comes out, and you figure, okay, Nia Jax, you know, she's a heel, she's like a monster heel, she's going to destroy her. So all she does is fucking kick her crutch out of the way, and then she throws her against the ropes, and Sasha doesn't, doesn't even get hurt. I mean, if you're going to have Nia Jax come out there, at least have her destroy Sasha, make an impact. I mean, it looks fucking dumb to have a heel come out there and just make one move on the fucking diva. Uh, I, I mean, what a waste. Didn't make any sense to me. Just a bad segment altogether. Then you have a cruiserweight match. Alexander defeating Dar. In just a short, boring waste of time. Zero, zero out of five stars. It was only one minute and 50 seconds long. So literally, literally like an hour and 20 minutes through the show. I was looking at it. There was only two minutes and 50 seconds of actual wrestling. Two matches, two minutes and 50 seconds. I mean, I mean what a fucking just waste of time. What a disgrace. I think that, I mean, it was something like that, like, the show was almost half over, like, an hour and a half through, and almost an hour and a half through, and, and it's like, I was looking at it, and it, it's like, there, there, there's been less than three minutes of actual wrestling on this wrestling show, oh, sorry, it's called a sports entertainment show, yeah. So, once again, the cruiserweights are, you know, not given enough time. Then we have the New Day and Cesaro and Sheamus cutting a promo. You know, obviously we know we know Cesaro and Sheamus have uh, just won the, the the tag belts. So the new, you know, it's just a pretty basic promo in my opinion. I mean, it was mediocre. Um, I mean, it just wasn't anything special. I mean, they had a couple, you know, decent things in there. You know, Cesaro making fun of Sheamus and shit. But but I mean, it just wasn't really that funny. It wasn't enter entertaining. It didn't really do anything for me. And then Gallows and, and Gallows and Anderson, and then the shitty stars come out. To, to, you know, it's like every fucking promo, it seems like, is to create a match. It's like, we can't ever just have a good fucking promo to, like, oh, build up to a match. You know, build up to a future match at a pay-per-view, or just have a good promo to have a good promo. It's gotta be, oh, we're having a promo to, to create a match. You know, it's like, that's what every fucking promo in, in, in this company leads. I mean... I mean, I guess that should be the case, but I mean, we should have promos building up to like pay-per-view matches and shit. It's like they have more promos to build up to matches on Raw than they do to build up to matches on pay-per-views. You know, it's like if you look at Roadblock, how many promos did you have between Owens and Reigns on Raw? None. You had one at, at, at the fucking tribute to the troops and that's it. 
it's, it's, I don't know, it's just like, I, I just want promos where it's like, just two guys in there cutting a promo, not fucking, you know, bring, it's like, and also too, they never have two guys in there really cutting a promo face to face for like 15 minutes, just cutting a good raw promo, unscripted promo, you know, it's like, they, they gotta have a million guys in there, so there's never any sense to it, there's never any format, it's just fucking every guy talks for 30 seconds, so there's no momentum built up in the promo, it's just, like this one, you had fucking 16 guys out there, or not 16, but 8 guys out there cutting promo. It's like, it's too much chaos. So, so yeah, just a mediocre promo. And then, of course, it leads to a uh, an 8-man tag match with the New Day, Seamus and Cesaro defeating Gals and Anderson and the Shitty Stars. Just a boring 8-man tag match. It was 7 minutes and 50 seconds long. I gave it 0 out of 5 stars. Just your typical ass WWE tag match. They always suck. Same fucking format. And they're just terrible. Then we have Neville and Swan cutting a promo. You know, it just was short and it wasn't enough for me. Um, you, you, I'll give them credit though. At least they're, you know, at least giving the, the Cruiserweight division some attention with, with the promos. I was complaining that they weren't giving them any promo time to build up any character. At least they gave them some promo time. Unfortunately, the promo was just not that good. I got a few problems with this. First, Neville has got to fucking call him. Down. I know he hasn't caught, caught many promos before. This is just coming from my perspective. He was too, you know, yelling and... Like, he would stand on the ropes, like, every time he had to say something. Uh, just calm down. It's not about how much you yell or, you know, it's like, oh, he's, he's like he drank, like, fucking 10 cups of coffee before he cut this promo. You know, just calm down and say what you got to say. You know, I know he's he's been a baby fade, whatever the fuck. He hasn't had much promo time. He's young. But, I mean, just coming from my perspective, it just seemed like, just calm down. It's more important about what you say than, you know, how you're acting or if you're yelling all the fucking, you know, just calm down. So, you know, they were talking about, because apparently Neville and Swan were these good friends in the past. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I mean, it was just not that good a promo. It didn't really accomplish too much. Um, you had Neville saying Swan should be thanking him. I, I just... There were no good lines. There was no really true heat built up between the two. You know, Swan didn't really get get that into it. Oh, he's too too dancing. He's dancing all the time. You know, it's like I hate the fucking dancing. Get get rid of the fucking dancing gimmicks. They're, they're failures. Yeah, how, ask Fandango how good the dancing gimmick. Ask fucking Brodus Clay how good the dancing gimmicks are. Oh, the the Funkasaurus guys, the fucking nine hundred pound fuck fuck Funkasaurus. I, I mean. They're just, they never fucking work. And I don't know, you can't fucking have a champion who's, it's like, it just doesn't work to have a champion who has a dancing gimmick. It's like, you're trying to cut a fucking serious promo, and all this guy wants to do is smile and dance. So not a good promo there. Then you had Sin Cara and Titus O'Neil ending in a, in a DQ. You had Braun Strowman coming out to interfere because he, he, he can't wrestle Sami Zayn, so he's, you know, that's the thing, he's pissed off. But why didn't he just attack him after the match last night if he's so pissed off? You know, he, he waits till uh, apparently he just gets mad now. I mean, what is he on his period? You know, he, he, he was he was fine with, with what happened last night. He was, you know, didn't attack anybody after the match. But now he's just fucking angry. You know, his fucking emotions are out of whack, obviously. So, it was only a 40-second match. Um... There was only one good spot in this match where Sin Cara was launched into the presence and the... And, and into the Christmas tree. I thought that was a good spot. Other than that, the, the segment was a waste of time and it sucked. So I gave it 0.75 out of 5 stars. Then we had Bailey defeating Charlotte. I'll give him credit. They gave it a lot of time. 11 minutes and 10 seconds. And when you're going to have a fucking upset, you, you have to give the match a lot of time. Like when when, when you had Miz, and, uh, Miz versus Apollo Crews at Tribute to the Troops, they gave the match like 2.5 minutes and they had Apollo Crews win. And, and I was saying that's why the IC title is in the shit because of things they things like that. So, but it's like even with this, you know, Bailey wins. She's now beat Charlotte three times in a row. It's like for somebody like Bailey to beat Charlotte three times in a row, Bailey being pretty much a jobber. What has she done? Oh, she's beat Dana Brooke fucking three times. Who the fuck cares? Dana Brooke's a fucking jobber who who hasn't done jack shit in this in this company. And the match was boring too. 
It wasn't anything that, that entertaining. I gave it one out of five stars. They're obviously going to do Bailey versus Charlotte as the next feud. So we'll see where that goes. But I, I gave it one out of five stars. 11 minute and 10 second match. And also too, I want, I want to touch on, they were doing this Enzo Amore sensitivity training. I mean, they could have had a funny, you know, funny segment out of this. I mean, there was some, you know, decently funny parts about it that were a little bit funny, I guess. But I mean, they were obviously trying to emulate, remember when they did anger management with Daniel Bryan and Kane, which was a hundred times funny. I mean, that, that was a classic, you know, Daniel Bryan and Kane anger management. When did they do that? Like four years ago. I mean, it just it just illustrates too how this company is just more shitty. Too. I mean, if you look at that, just from four years ago. I mean, I think that was in two thousand twelve or two thousand thirteen. Whatever, three four years. You know, even then, if you compare these two segments, anger management. First off, it was longer. It wasn't just two segments of two minutes. I mean, the segments probably probably totaled four four minutes in total. Anger management, I believe, was like two six-minute segments. I mean, give it some time. I mean, you don't have anything better to do on Raw. Oh, yeah, we got to watch a fucking Titus O'Neil Sin Cara match. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's so much more important. I mean, give it fucking 10 to 15 minutes. Have it be funny and entertain. This was just basic shit. It wasn't that funny. And then you had Rusev attacking him after, you know, with, with Ginger. Uh, don't hinder Ginger Mahal. And, um... It, I, I mean, it was a decent little attack. They put him through a table there, but I mean, yeah, it was decent. But but you could have had some better shit with it, that, that 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 sensitivity training. So so then we had Owens and Jericho and Reigns and Rollins ending in a, in a DQ. Just a t you know when you see like oh it's going to we're just going to have a tag team match for the main event. We're just going to pair two. We're going to take two feuds and pair the faces together and the heels together and put them in the main event. I mean, that's just lazy booking, in my opinion. I mean, it's, it's just basic. I keep using the word basic to describe this company, but that's what it is. It's just basic. It's always basic. Like, this is just basic. No, nobody's, you know, getting out of their seats, I don't think, to see this match because it's nothing that creative. I mean, I could have came up with this shit. I mean, I could come up with fucking 99% of this shit. That they do. It's just basic booking. It's lazy booking. It's like, why do they even pay these people to do this shit? I mean, it's pretty fucking simple to book this show. You know, the shit that they do is just, it's just wrestling 101. It's nothing, it's like the wrestlers go out there, do their ordinary moves. The, the promos are very ordinary. So, you, I mean, you might as well just get rid of the fucking, you know, writers. Or really, you know, lessen their role in this product and let the wrestlers do what they want. So that, So this match... Was 13 minutes and 45 seconds long. Like I said, every fucking tag match in this company sucks. It's just boring. It's typical. And it has the same format. And this was true for this match. I gave it 0.5 out of 5 stars. It, it really sucked. It was really boring. And it's nobody. nobody's looking forward to this match. You know, through, like if you're sitting there at 9 p.m. You're not like, oh, I'm really waiting for that main event at 11 o'clock. No, it's like it's just an ordinary, another main event. It's just another fucking match on the card. So yeah, and you had Braun Strowman coming out there beating up Reigns and uh, Rollins there after the match. So, I mean, n nothing too impressive to me. So the match, so, so the match times, the total amount of wrestling on the show was thirty six minutes and fifteen seconds long. That when you that's equal to six minutes per match. And I have some interesting statistics here. So there was three matches that were zero, zero to five minutes. And all of these matches were under two minutes. So, so fucking 50% of the matches tonight were under two minutes. I mean, that, 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 that's a problem. And you had one match that was five to ten minutes. And two that were ten to fifteen. So, yeah, overall, the opening promo was good. But other than that, pretty much everything else sucked. Sucked. So... Typical Raw, it sucked. Uh, hardly anything that was worth watching. And another forgettable show. So there you go, people. This company has just gradually kept getting worse and worse and worse. I mean, it, it used to be that, you know, every once in a while there would be a good Raw, but it's like never anymore. I mean, I can't rem remember the last time there's been a good Raw. I mean, you'll get a good pay-per-view, you know, sometimes, but... It's like the, the Raws are just consistently garbage. 
And there's there's a few basic things they gotta do to fix it. First, three hours way too long. Second, match times. You know, those are two things, two big things. Match time, give them longer times to wrestle and get the fuck out of here with these two, three, four minute matches because they always are garbage and they're unwatchable. Nobody fucking wants to watch them. So that's all I gotta say, people. Raw once again sucked.